Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asian News Bank. Heard the top stories. We are tracking to you on Friday, the 6th of September. Put in one peace negotiations with Ukraine, save India, China, and Brazil with mediators. Kyrgyzstan removes Taliban from banned terror organization list. as a mediator. Speaking at the Eastern Economic Forum, Putin said a preliminary agreement reached between negotiators of Russia and Ukraine during the talks held in Istanbul, which was never implemented, could serve as the basis for talks. As the war nears the three-year mark, the president further said Russia has never refused peace talks, but not on the basis of some ephemeral demands, but on the basis of those documents that were agreed and virtually initialed in Istanbul. Moscow has intensified its missile and drone attacks on Ukraine two and a half years into the full-scale war. And the Pakistan army has hinted at a military trial for jailed former Prime Minister Imran Khan, warning that using military personnel for personal or political gains invites legal action. Military spokesperson Major General Ahmed Sharif Chaudhary told reporters on Thursday that the question of Khan's military trial was hypothetical. But he added, anyone who uses any person or persons who are bound by the Army Act for his personal or political interest, and there's an evidence available about that, the law will take its own course. The statement comes amid arrest and court-martial of former spy chief General Fez Hamid, considered a close ally of Imran Khan. The former PM has said Hamid's arrest was meant to ultimately target him as other cases against him were falling apart. Government officials have repeatedly accused that Hamid worked with Khan to plan the May 9 balance on military institutions after his arrest, which the army chief sees as mutiny and an act of treason. Moving on. Kyrgyzstan has removed Afghanistan's de facto rulers, the Taliban, from the list of extremist and terrorist organizations media reports have suggested. In the updated list of the banned organization in the Central Asian country, the Taliban has been excluded while it still includes 20 other groups including the Islamic State and the Al-Qaeda. The Taliban was considered a terrorist organization and was banned since 2006 in the Central Asian country. While the authorities in Bishkek are yet to comment on the reason behind the move, Taliban's foreign ministry spokesperson Abdul Keher Balki said they commend the decision. He added the step taken by Kyrgyzstan signifies a growing political recognition of the Taliban regime on both regional and international level. It removes a barrier to strengthening bilateral relations between the Afghanistan and other countries, the statement added. While no country has so far recognized the Taliban government, some countries including Russia are reconsidering their positions towards the Taliban. Moving on. Thousands of students rallied in Bangladesh on Thursday to mark one month anniversary of the fall of long-serving former Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina after deadly protest. Students, teachers and families of those killed in the unrest joined the march for martyrs carrying national flags and chanting slogans such as blood of the martyrs is our power. The anti-government protest started in July as student-led movement against public sector job quotas and escalated into a nationwide uprising against Hasina.
ইন্ট্রিম গভর্নমেন্ট থেকে আমরা একটাই আশা যে উনি আমাদের দেশে আমরা যেই যেই অধিকারের জন্য আমরা এই আন্দোলনে লড়েছিলাম উনি আমাদের সেই অধিকারটা ফিরিয়ে দিবে এবং আমাদের সেই অধিকার ব্যবস্থা করবে যাতে আমরা আমাদের একটা স্বাধীন দেশে সম্মান বা পূর্ণাঙ্গ একটা ব্যবস্থা পাই যাতে আমাদের সর্ব সার্বিক ভাবে আমাদের উন্নত করার জন্য More than 1000 people lost their lives in the unrest which forced Hasina to resign and flee to India on August 5 just before her official residence was stormed by crowds. The violence continued for several days after she fled. The country has also witnessed attacks on Hindu minority considered close to Hasina's Awami League. In the latest, a Hindu boy identifies as Utsav Mondal was lynched in Khulna inside a police station as per rights group Human Rights Congress for Bangladesh Minorities. The group alleged lynching occurred in presence of army and police personnel and demanded they be considered perpetrators in this case given that brutal crime happens under their watch. India has expressed concern about the attacks on minorities. However, Bangladesh interim chief adviser Yunus has said such concerns are exaggerated. The two major ruling parties in Nepal, the Nepali Congress and the CPN UML have indicated that they will not form pre-poll alliances with any party. The Central Working Committee of the Sher Bahadur Deoba led Nepali Congress endorsed the proposal to contest the election independently. Earlier, Prime Minister KP Sharma Oli CPN UML also decided against forging electoral alliances with other communist forces. During a meeting this week, UML chairman Oli clarified that even though his party is currently in an alliance with the Congress, there won't be any alliance. He said, as the Nepali Congress has decided to contest the upcoming elections on its own, it's time for us to do the same. Nepal is slated to hold general elections in 2027. Women in parts of India and Nepal on Friday celebrated the Hindu festival of Hartalika Tej with great fervor. The festival commemorates the union of Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati. Take a look. Hindu women in parts of northern India celebrated the monsoon festival of Hartalika Tej on Friday. by offering prayers and observing a fast for the well-being of their husbands according to hindu mythology goddess parvati fasted for many years before lord shiva agreed to accept her as his wife tej commemorates this union between the two deities devotees performed rituals and prayed in the holy cities of prayagraj and ayodhya the festival is also marked by singing and dancing an important part of tej is exchanging gifts especially among newlyweds and the families aaj har saal ka tej ka vrat hai hum log vrat rakhte hain suhagna apne pati ke lambi umar ke liye rakhti hain har saubhag istri ko ye pradan ho vrat bahut acha vrat hota hai saal bhar mein ek baar aata hai meanwhile draped in red sarees thousands of nepali women also throng the famous pashupati na temple in kathmandu paying obeisances to lord shiva as per the tradition women in nepal on this third day of the dark half of the lunar month of bhadro observe fasting and wish for a prosperous life while observing the festival soon after performing rituals at the temple they gather in the outer square singing and dancing songs of both joy and sorrow puja ji yo parvati le 8 barsha ko huda shiva ji pati paau bhanera gareko barta ho tei manyata anusar aile didi baini haru le sabai le yo gardai aeka chan अने के रे हरिपाली का तीज पर्व सब दीदी बहनी को लगी एकदम रईल ते दिन सब जाना को भेटघाट होने भाई दीदी बहनी में एक आपस के दुख सुख साठा साठ होने भाई अमीले एक जमा मेल भर नाच गान where they are especially invited for this purpose on the day of the festival they put on bangles necklaces and adorn vermilion mark considered symbols of good luck and marital bliss that's all in tonight's edition we will see you same time next week have a great weekend good night tag tv brings you daily news bulletin from india breaking news and views from india